Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm not going to be doing a shave video. I'm going to be showing you how to actually get a haircut or cut your own hair. Today I'm going to be using obviously the hairstyle that I have and this is a hard parted undercut with a 0 to 1 fade in on the sides. So I'll be showing you guys how to do this. It's fairly simple. Um, it's not too much involved. Sometimes I do use my scissors on the top portion of my hair. I'm not going to be doing that for you today because I want to show you guys the easiest way to do this. And I know a lot of you gentlemen out there probably aren't too familiar with these. Um, this is something I've gotten into more as far as a trade and something I may actually open my own practice on is barbering. So I wouldn't expect you to have the knowledge I do about this. So that's why I'm going to show you how to do this with a wall professional series clipper which is pretty close to the wall home series clipper that you can buy in any store like Target, Walmart. So it comes with a series of combs and I'm going to show you what combs we hook onto this and how to do this haircut and we will get into it. So first things first, I did wash my hair. It is clean. We're just going to give it a good comb here. Make sure everything's laying flat and even. And you're going to wonder how do I see the back of my head? right here this is how I do it so you're gonna want your mirror you're gonna want your clipper and like I said I do a zero fade in and I have some of my cool care plus here which is like a lubricant for my blades so we're gonna go ahead and give this a spray good to go move our combs a little bit here get some of that lubricant work done and I start with a zero fade in so what I'm gonna do is just come right on up to where I want that zero to stop and I generally go right above my ears a little bit here get our mirror And it's up to you if you want to swoop the back or come straight across. Either way, by the time we're done, this line that you can see here isn't going to be there. So right now, it's making a line in the hair. You are going to see it. Don't freak out. I'll show you guys how to blend that out. And I'm just tossing the excess hair right into the sink. I've got the sink actually blocked off and then I clean the sink out. I just find that a little easier than stopping every two seconds to clean off hair and whatnot. And on the side of my head, I actually kind of come in at an angle towards my ear with this a little bit. And I've got my comb completely open, okay, when I'm doing this because that extends the teeth on that head a little bit to give us a little bit better of a line. Kind of get a better feel for what exactly we're doing here. Alright, so now that we got that taken care of, as you can see, we cleaned up the sides real nice. Okay. So then what I do is instead of using the cheeky little brush that they give you with this, I have a baby brush. Take our clippers, give them a good wipe. I take my number one open comb still. Okay leave it open and I come in and I just start where my head rounds is where I'm gonna go straight up with this and what that does is that kinda gives us our nice angle here for the blend We're just going to work all the way around with that. And however high you want your blend in the back, 
is where you're going to pull off from. So say I wanted it to come down here, like that, like curve, then I'd be pulling off right there. So you just kind of follow where you're pulling off with your razor here, with your clipper. And that'll give you a good blend line in the back. Do this side. Now since this is a longer cut and it lays over, you gotta be real careful watching this hair when you go through it. But you're just gonna let the, the comb of the, the clipper just work its way right through that and just keep a nice straight even line straight up. Okay. And then I just kind of go back over it real quick. Fine tune some spots here. Even kind of give it a good back and forth like so. Just to blend that in real nice. And this does work extremely well with a cordless. Um, I don't have one at the moment, as you can tell, but if you have a cordless, that is awesome for this. We're going to clean our head off again, put a little bit more of our cold care on there because those blades are getting hot. And then what I do is I take my 1 16th, clip that on. And we're gonna go actually close comb with this, okay? And that line that we can see, you're just gonna make a scooping motion over it, right in where it is, okay? You may have to open our comb a little bit. It just depends on how your line's blending in. If your line's not blending in very well, then you wanna open your comb a little more. So you just keep going over it, and it'll blend out. And just be patient, it might take a while for it to blend out. Um, the better a scooping motion you get in that, or kind of roughing it back and forth, the faster it will blend out. And if it's not blending as well as you want it to, I mean, you can try a variance. You can tighten up your, your combs, you can loosen it, you know, just see what works for you. Everybody's hair is different. I have pretty coarse hair, so I can get away with kind of just lengthening the adjustability on my comb and it blends it in pretty well. So I just keep going over that line real nice like that. Okay. Give our clippers a clean. And then we're gonna go back in with our one. And the reason I'm going back in, remember how we did the comb open? Now we're gonna close it. And that brings that blade closer to your skin. So now we're just gonna, same thing, just go straight up, just like we did before. And this just kinda helps taper in that, that zero fade. Keep it nice and close to our head. Give us good symmetry. And when you are doing this, you do want to use more of a scooping motion when you get towards where you're pulling off. So if you guys can see there, I'm kind of doing one of these numbers when I get to the top. And there we go, for the most part, there's the suds. We're blended in real even, there's no bad line. 
check it out in the back you know check it from afar looks pretty good I mean I could blend it a little bit shorter up if I wanted to but I'm happy with that so for the top I'm gonna brush off our clippers here real good okay we're gonna take our eight clip that eight on there and the way my hair is combed down for this hard part is to the side I like to have it parted so it's all laying down to my left so I'm gonna go against it with this and I have the comb all the way open okay and we're just gonna go like that just work right through it works a little bit better going against it but you just go whichever way you need to and it's not all gonna just come off perfectly I mean you, you gotta keep combing through it but it'll get there so you just keep going Okay, and if the back, if you have a little trouble with that, just kind of guide with your mirror. And then I run straight through. Just kind of get it at a different angle. That way I'm actually getting hairs and hair that maybe I missed. Okay, so there's our top. Take our handy dandy barber's comb. Give it a good sweep. And then this part, I'm not gonna do it today because I'm actually gonna be just shaving my head after this because I wanna grow my hair all the way back out because this cut does take a little bit of maintenance and I'm getting kinda tired of that. Um, but you at home, if you wanna do a hard part, we take our clipper here and we leave it all the way closed okay you want those blades as close as you can get them what I like to do is I take my mirror and I hold it up right there where you can see your part okay or where you want to lay your part if you guys can see that in that mirror and then what I do is I come in here and I lightly touch with it on I line my part okay where I want it and just just a light light touch all it takes so then once I have that defined line I take my chevette okay and I come in there with the chevette and I just give it a little wiggle and I move forward and give it a little wiggle move forward little wiggle and I just do that all the way down till I have a clean line and that's how we get our hard part and then I come in for my hairline because I like a little bit of an old school kickback hairline I just come in and stop come in stop and then on my edges of my temple same thing straight stop straight stop and that's it that pretty much is the whole cut um, sometimes in here if this is getting a little cheeky and really sticking up by this part I will actually come in with my number two and actually here let's do it I close my comb hold right here so you're not going to clip your hair your long longer hair on the other side and then I just rake right off that and I can actually kind of round off even some of where that one came in kind of taper out the back a little bit with it too if you want just to kind of keep the back a little cleaner. And there you go, guys.